Former Trump advisor Steve Cortez now has his own show on Newsmax because of course he does. And as you're going to see in this clip, he is going to make a very, very bold claim on his show. The Democrats have openly become a party that hates white people. You may not want to hear that, but it's true. It's unpleasant to acknowledge that reality, especially for millions of people, and I'm one of them, whose parents and grandparents were once proud Democrats. But don't let that legacy bias obscure your thinking now, today, in 2021. The left openly, loudly hates white people. That's the reality. How else can you explain CRT or the constant removal of historic statues? More specifically, though, they particularly hate white men. And if those white men happen to be blue collar, well, they're just beyond the pale to these ruling class elites. Talking about people like Walmart CEO Doug McMillan who forced employees to endure anti-white, quote, sensitivity training. Or people like General Mark Milley, who subjects our brave warriors to similar garbage in the U.S. military. Or to MSNBC anchors, who use their platforms to spew toxic, cultural, anti-white pollution. You know, I thought that people, especially right-wingers, were tired of identity politics. That's identity politics. That is the definition of identity politics. And it is uh, bizarre, it's childish, it is extremely unsophisticated, and it's a stretch to call that political commentary because that is just pure dumb fuckery. But that's what you expect when you watch Newsmax. I mean, why would you even care about this? Assuming he's right, which he's not, but if Democrats hate white people... Okay, what are the policy implications of their hatred for white people? Are they going to ban white people from going into restaurants? Are we going to do reverse racism? What exactly are you trying to communicate to people other than don't vote Democrat? Because we already know that you don't like Democrats. So I just, I'm struggling to figure out what's the point of this other than just, you know, um, noise. He says, uh, the Democrats have openly become a party that hates white people. I mean, it's just a demonstrably untrue statement. It's incredibly alarmist and sensationalist, and it's just fucking stupid. Look, I hate the Democratic Party, all right? I don't like them. I think that there's too many neoliberals in the party. I think that they don't go far enough. I think that they don't focus on policy enough and they focus on vacuous things that don't necessarily matter. They're too fixated on Donald Trump. There's a lot of criticisms of the Democratic Party that are substantive. This is not one of them. He adds here, the left openly, loudly hates white people. That's the reality. I mean, I, I myself as a leftist, I oftentimes will converse with my friends about how much I hate white people as a white person myself. <laughs> uh, he says, how else can you explain CRT or the constant removal of historic statues? Look, I can explain CRT actually, but I want to address the latter first. Uh, the Confederate statues are stupid and you shouldn't want them up because they glorify people who are literal traitors to the country. These are traitors who fought to uphold slavery. So why do we have statues glorifying them? Why is that so important to you? It's almost like that gives you insight into your character, that you want to see these slaveholders glorified and Confederate generals glorified. Do you want to see that? I mean, it's history, sure, but then we could just read about it in history books. Oh, wait, but you don't want to do that because, see, history itself, you know, this is more about demonizing America and teaching people to hate America. So we can't give people an objective look at history and the crimes that America committed, the Native American genocide and, and whatnot, slavery. So uh, history is bad too. So uh, that's why we should ban critical race theory. I mean, even by their own standards, the point doesn't make sense. Critical race theory is not a real issue. This is literally an issue that was manufactured by Republican Party operative Christopher Rufo, and he admitted on Twitter openly so that he's going to tie any culture war thing to critical race theory, make it toxic, and anything that he doesn't like that Democrats do, he's going to say that's critical race theory. It's all going to be categorized under this broad umbrella of CRT, and it's, it's working. So CRT isn't a real thing, and to the extent that children are taught about CRT, um, it is extremely rare 
And uh, if it were happening, that would be good because people need to know about the history of the United States. Because if you don't know about history, you're doomed to mistake uh, to repeat the mistakes of the past. And I get that that's a cliche, but it's true. And CRT is something that I didn't encounter until I was literally in a PhD program. I mean, all through grad school, didn't encounter it. But when I was in a PhD program, that's the first time it was referenced in material that was assigned to me. So this is not something that's widespread. And if it were, it doesn't teach you to hate white people. It's just, it teaches you about systemic racism and uh, institutional biases against black people. And that's an oversimplification, but it's not an issue. It's a non-issue, but they make it an issue because they have no policy substance. They don't want to deliver economically to people and they know that their economic agenda is not very popular so the way that they lure in voters is by doing dumb shit like this screaming at big bird talking about critical race theory and how it's teaching uh children to hate white people so stupid um he says the democrats particularly hate white men, men and if those white men uh, happen to be blue collar then they're just beyond the pale. So what he's doing here, and I think this is pretty clear, he's trying to emulate Tucker Carlson's style. Even with the cadence, you notice him trying to mimic Tucker Carlson. He wants to be this faux populist. He wants to make it seem as if it's really Republicans who care about the working class. Okay, well, look, if you care about blue-collar workers, do you support unions? I don't think he does. Do you support blue-collar workers owning the means of production? No, you don't support that. You support this exploitative employer-employee dynamic that exists today that actually hurts blue-collar workers. Do you support increasing the minimum wage? Do you support anything that helps out workers? Do you support uh, universal health care? No, they're full of fucking shit. They're full of shit. They have no substance. And so this is why... You turn on Fox News or Newsmax or One American News Network and they're shitting their pants. You know, veins are popping out of their head as they talk about Mr. Potato Head. They have fuck all. And that's why they sound so silly. Unfortunately, enough people don't see through it and take them seriously. But it's incumbent on people like me to use my platform in however way I can to shed a light on their dumb fuckery. Because anyone who watches that and thinks it's compelling, we have to deprogram them. This is just, this is pure stupidity here. And uh, it's what you expect, again, if you tune into Newsmax. So don't. And if you have somebody in your family who watches Newsmax, uh, turn on the parental controls, change the password, and block them from watching it. That's the only way that we can save America at this point, or at least uh, deprogram boomers who have been radicalized by Fox News and uh, One American News Network and Newsmax. When you acting like a baby.